All right, workshop students, let's continue on here. I have a couple questions here from the uh, practice exam. And I've, uh, let's see, I've done a bunch, forget how many, but uh, I printed them up. I'm you know, on this new sheet. It looks like it's problem number six. So let me write that here. Number six, uh, my little form here. And let's read this. A car driving around a circular track changing both its speed and direction. All right, let me pause there and have a quick review. All right, so if you make a, a circle, um, I'm going to recommend you always point out where is the center of the, of the circle on your drawing, so kind of mark that. Um, here we have a car going around a track, so I'll put a little car here. And this car then might have an acceleration pointing in some direction. Maybe I'll point it off in this direction. But here's the key to these problems. And let's look at the components. There's a part of the acceleration towards the center of the circle, which we call the centripetal acceleration. And then there's a part that's along the direction it's moving. We call that the tangent direction. And of course, the total is this acceleration. And as we add these together, or I want to be careful, they're at right angles to each other, but this would say that the centripetal one and the tangential one are related to the total with Pythagorean's theorem here. And I, again, I'll keep reading the problem. I'm not sure how much I'll need, but just wanted to point out that uh, I th we're going to need both a centripetal acceleration and a tangential. Uh, and I know that because the problem just started off. A car is driving around a circular track. It's changing both its speed and its direction. Okay. Its total acceleration vector is the centripetal component. So that's what I was saying earlier, a centripetal component and a tangential component. The angle between the acceleration and the velocity vector is defined to be theta. All right, so uh, maybe my picture could be improved here. So let me just draw the car without the, the circle. Um, I do like to always put a little dot though to say, okay, where's the center of the circle? And since I've been doing components in blue, I'll do that. But this would have a centripetal acceleration, and that would be towards the center of the circle. And this would be the tangential, okay? Now, I know in this picture, to make it kind of look like a triangle, I, I put it over here. But the acceleration isn't actually to the left. The acceleration is on the object. So the total acceleration would look like this. And then they just gave me the definition of theta. Theta is the angle between, oh, I should say one more thing, and it, uh, I'm kind of implying it was moving this direction. Maybe I'll do that in a different color. because I don't want you to confuse a vector that is acceleration with a vector that is velocity. Okay, but the velocity is tangential to the, the circle. So kind of makes sense that the tangential one is in the same direction, um, or it could be opposite. So in other words, we could have an acceleration, and I don't have any other colors, but I'll just put, could have an acceleration that looked like this, where we would say then it has a centripetal and a tangential opposite to the direction it's moving. So that's why we say this tangential one is the, part that makes it go faster or slower because when they're in the same direction they go faster and when they're the opposite they go slower and so that's probably what this question is after it's probably some kind of question about whether this thing will go faster or or, or slower uh, we know it's turning so we know we always have to have a centripetal towards the center of the circle or it's, at least in my diagram it's turning towards the uh, the left here so we have to have an acceleration towards the left but if we have this picture, then it would be going faster. And if we had this picture, so here's center of the circle, and I had a 
centripetal that way, but a tangential this way, when it is moving this way, so that the total of the two is this way, then I would be slowing down because the tangential is opposite of the velocity vector, okay? And of course, then the angle, as I said, is defined between the velocity and the acceleration, so it'd be something like that. So something slowing down is gonna have these big angles. Something speeding up is gonna have these slow angles, less than 90 degrees. And I think that's what I saw here. Let's, let's read the question now, finally. It says, check all of the answers that are true statements. And there may be more than one. Okay, so the tangential describes the change in the speed's direction. No. Tangential does speed. And centripetal describes the change in the car's speed. No. These are exactly backwards, so don't check that one. Okay, uh, theta is less than 90 degrees if the car is speed is increasing. Yes, yes, definitely check that one. That's, that's kind of what I was trying to show in this picture, that if you had an angle of less than 90, it could be made up of the part that makes it turn, centripetal, and then the part that makes it change its speed, which is in the, and then it would be in the direction that it's moving, and that makes it go faster. So anything that looks like this, any angle that's less than 90 would make it go faster. Something like this, where the tangential is opposite to the direction it's moving, that would slow it down. And that means when you added these two components, you get something like that, which makes the angle greater than 90. So that, I believe, is what um, this, yeah, so if theta is less than 90, the car's speed is increasing. Yes. All right. The component A, centripetal, is always perpendicular to the velocity. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when you are moving, you are moving tangential to the circle, and then your centripetal is towards the center, and those are perpendicular. Yeah, so, so that one should be checked. Uh, theta less than 45 degrees if the tangential is positive and tangential is greater than the acceleration? Uh, I think so. Let me draw a picture. So if I had, let's see, a tangential that was this direction and a centripetal, and I'll draw it kind of short because they say that tangential is greater. Yeah, yeah, this would give me an angle right here that would be less than 45. In other words, when these two are the same size, so when the tangential is the same size as the centripetal, you would get 45. And you'd get less than 45 if this leg was bigger. And you would get more than 45 if this leg was bigger. But uh, they said less than 45 if, yeah. Yeah, so, so that one should be circled here. Okay, hope that was helpful to someone. Take care.